presentation on starting a small business, by the School for Small Business. You may see many opportunities around you to start a business. It does not mean you should grab the first one that comes your way. If you can evaluate the opportunity against some relevant criteria it will prevent many problems in the future. So here are some critical criteria for your proposed business that requires careful evaluation. Does the business sector have potential growth for 10 years or perhaps 25 years? Is there any entry barrier advantage you have which can prevent or delay a competitor entering the arena? Is the capital and working capital requirements within your affordable capacity? Is it possible for you to set up this business up to proof of concept on a shoestring budget? How tech-friendly is your project? Is it amenable to setting up and scaling up on a lean philosophy? What are the GST implications and will you need to register multiple branches? Will this business sector be relevant 10 or 20 years from now? Will new technology like AI or automation wipe out the sector or can another consumer category replace your product? Have you considered if there is an entry barrier for others to enter this space? Is it your know-how, or technology or capital investment that will act as a barrier? Can you get priced out by a competitor? Will you stay in your financial comfort zone at startup stage? Will you have to borrow money before proof of concept is proven? Borrowing is easy but repayment is difficult and if you are not careful you can end up losing your house to the bank. Try to reach proof of concept stage on a showstring budget. Avoid office and large teams and overhead expenses till you are sure your product or service has a market. Once sure again see if you can scale up with the smallest team possible. Initially it is best to keep close contact with your customers and not have a hierarchy in between. And is your idea technology friendly to use the best talent outsourced or in-house? The new GST environment requires that you as the entrepreneur understand and follow the tax implications yourself and not give it off to a consultant to figure out. It can have grave implication on your cash flow and precipitate unexpected penalties and liabilities if your consultant makes a mistake. If you work over the internet, check if you will be classified as an e-com operator. If so you may need to get into unmanageable multi-location registrations. Are your input taxes more than your output taxes? Get into the details before you launch your business. For a detailed checklist on parameters visit my blog at the address given in the description below.